guys and welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today I'm doing the highly anticipated and requested skincare routine video. Be prepared for this to be the easiest and quickest skincare routine video you've probably ever seen, which is why I've like held off on making this video because I don't think there's anything that special, uh, but like a really good fresh basket of sweet tomatoes, I feel like my skin is at its best when you do very few things to it. Do you know what I mean? Like when something is so fresh and delicious, like a fresh peach and you just eat it as is, it's like so perfect without doing anything to it. I feel the same way about my face. Um, only because I feel like your face is very, like the skin in your face is very sensitive. It's very, you know, very, very fragile. So I don't want to do too much to it. Uh, and also over the years I've come across products and I've been using this routine for years and I have several of my girlfriends turned on to these same exact products because they really do work for me and uh, it's really easy. By the way, I will have a makeup tutorial on this look, which is the look I wore in my shoe haul video, and my clothing haul video, and I believe it's the same look I wore in my outfit of the day as well. I have this up in a couple days, so make sure you are, make sure you keep an eye out for that. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna run you through what my night and morning looks like. The first thing I do is I use one of these towelettes, which I apologize I threw away the box, but these are the Olay 4-in-1 cleansing towelettes. And you just moisten this under water and I just kind of uh, gently remove all my makeup with it. And then what I do is I wring it out, all the dirty makeup, and then I put a little squirt of this run on it, which is a Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing Plus Makeup Remover. I really like this. I don't like the lotion because it smells too strong, so I just put a little pump of this, kind of moisten it, and then just continue to remove any excess makeup. Like if I'm, I'm wearing a lot of eye makeup, I just gently make sure to take it off with that. And that's how I wash my face at night when I'm wearing makeup. And then right before I go to bed, I do put a moisturizer on and an eye cream, which I now can't find my eye cream. Where's my eye cream at? Found it. So for my eye cream, I just use a Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair. I just put a really small amount onto my ring fingers and just pat it right under the eyes, just really, really gently because under your eyes is such a sensitive area. You don't want to rub, rub, rub. And then for my moisturizer every night, I've been using this stuff for so many years, I've lost count. It's the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. I use this at night and most, I, most times I use it during the day if I'm not wearing any makeup. I use this, which looks great under makeup as well, but I use something else for under makeup, which I'll talk about in just a second. And then once a week, only once a week, I do like to do like a facial scrub. Um, and this is the one I use. I don't know why I, I accidentally grabbed the Target uh, version of this, but it's really the same thing. It's the uh, St. Ives Invigorating Apricot Scrub. This is the Up and Up brand by Target, so this is called the Facial Scrub Refreshing. Um, apricot scrub, but usually I use the St. Ives. I only use this once a week, and if you're someone that likes a really gentle exfoliator, this is not for you. This is really gritty. It's really kind of rough feeling, but I like that because I want to kind of get rid of all the dead skin cells on the surface of my skin. So this does a really good job at that. I really, really like it. I just put a little bit, you know, on my hands, rub them together, and then just gently rub, 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 rub all in this area, not my eyes, I just do this area here and then this area up here, a little bit down, right here, down my neck. And that's it, but this only gets done once a week because it's a little bit rough, so you don't want to do it too, too much. And then every single morning, I wash my face with a trusted, good old Dove Soap, unscented, sensitive skin kind, just the unscented Dove Soap bar, is what I use every single morning. Uh, and I also use this at night if I'm not wearing makeup. So basically, I only use my towelettes and this little guy here together if I'm wearing makeup. If there are days when I'm not wearing any makeup, which happens often because I like to give my, my um, skin a chance to breathe, at night I just wash my face with my Dove soap and then that's it. And then I'm done. I, put in my, I always put on my creams, my eye cream and um, my Aveeno. I always use these. Now, I use for, when I'm wearing makeup, for under my makeup as a moisturizer, I always use the Pons, only because this, this I can't use at night, because it leaves my face a little too, I don't wanna say greasy feeling, but I can feel it on the face, and I don't like going to bed feeling like I've got, um, I've got cream like sort of sitting on my skin. 
I like to use this under makeup because I feel like makeup can dry you out a little bit and this just gives you extra hydration, which is why I love it under makeup. However, on days I'm not wearing makeup during a day, in the morning I just wash my face with this, I put on a little bit of this, and I'm done for the day. That is it. And when I do travel, I don't bring my box of wipes in this. If I shouldn't say when I do travel. If I'm going somewhere overnight, if obviously when I went to Italy, I did bring these two because I was there for you know 14, 14 days, however long it was, two weeks. So, but if I'm going to just somewhere overnight or something like that, I just bring my pond um, wet, wet cleansing towelettes. This is just the original. These are probably my favorite makeup removing wipes because they smell really good. They don't burn my eyes. They do a good job at taking off my makeup, um, and those are great sort of on the go. Uh, if you're going somewhere overnight and you just don't want to pack too much stuff. But other than that, that's it. Done. I mean, that, I'm telling you, this is why I didn't want to kind of make this video because it, I knew it would be really quickly. But once again, at night when I am wearing makeup, like tonight, I use this towelette with a little bit of this. And then before I go to bed, I put in my... Where's my eye cream? I put in my eye cream and my moisturizer, and then tomorrow morning just wash my face with this guy, and I'm done, and I'm good to go. I'm at the door, and depending on where I, whether I wear makeup or not, I wear I use a little bit of this lotion. But that's it. That is my skincare routine. It's easy. It's simple. It's affordable, and I know that like all really expensive skincare products are all the rage. I know I've heard a lot about Michael Todd, and I honestly do want to try some of those products myself. But I just feel like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I love my products. They, they work really, really well for me. They worked for years. I, they're easily available at the, my local grudge, uh, my local grudge store, my local drug store. So if I run out, if I run out of a product, I don't have a fear of what am I going to do? So I just run out and get some more. Uh, and these are just products that really work for me. They worked for years are kind of my holy grail skincare products. And, uh, for now, I don't think I am going to invest in any high end foundation, um, skincare products only because I'm kind of nervous too. In fact, I did use a sample, um, a sample cream that came into like, I don't know if it was Sephora box or Ulta, I don't even remember. I uh, used it, a little bit of it on like a blemish that I felt like was coming through, it was like a little mark, it wasn't even a blemish. I was like, oh, let me try to see what this does. And it broke me out. It gave me a big rash right here. I don't know if you can still see it. But so anyway, point to that is, I'm not trying any new products because I'm scared too because my skin tends to be um, a little bit on the sensitive side. And I have to also mention my skin type. I have normal to dry skin. I don't have oily skin. However, when I do film for Lara in the kitchen, I tend to get really oily in this area just because I sweat so much because we have so many lights sort of right in front of me and above me um, and a little bit on the sides as well that with all that is just a lot, a lot of heat. Uh, but normally I don't have um, any problems with oily skin whatsoever. But that is it. That is my skincare routine. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. And I hope that you give these products a try. If you are looking to change up your skincare routine or you're looking to um, maybe start up one if you haven't used any anything on your face before. But anyways, these are true and tested, true and tried. I uh, just love them. And uh, yeah, if you have any requests for this channel, make sure you leave them down below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.